Hey everybody, Mark here from 8-Minute Acts. Today I am going to share with you a few quick and simple but very important tips and tricks that is going to make your 12-string playing much more enjoyable and help you maximize the full potential of the 12-string guitar. Until about a year ago, I barely played the 12-string at all, and then I made my video, Eight Classic Riffs That Must Be Played in a 12-String, and since I made that video, I haven't been able to put the 12-string down. I've absolutely fallen in love with the instrument. I've been writing with it, and I've discovered so many songs that I never realized were played in the 12-string. Uh, a lot of that is due to all the comments that I received from you guys. You guys have sent me in so many different directions, and I've discovered so many new songs played in the 12-string that it's really made it a lot more fun. Along the way, I've discovered a few things that will really help you unleash the full potential and magic of the 12-string guitar. Also, I've discovered a few things that will save you a lot of frustration and aggravation if you pay careful attention. Before we get started, if you haven't already, please take a moment and subscribe to the channel and ring the bell to get notified when I upload new videos. Your support really is appreciated. And if you have any questions at all about this video or anything else, please don't hesitate to leave a comment below or email me directly. My email is markarenali at gmail.com. I'll leave it below. And if you like the video, please hit the like button too. So let's jump right into it. Now, 12 string guitar is not just a six string guitar with six sets of two strings. It can be a very quirky and temperamental instrument and it can be notoriously hard to tune. So my first piece of advice is when you're tuning the guitar, be patient. I would recommend tuning from low to high. And once you finish tuning the high strings, I would go back and check your low strings again. There's a lot of tension on the neck and a lot of times if your higher strings are really out of pitch, and you tune them up to pitch, a lot of times that will pull the lower strings that you've already tuned back out of pitch. Go back through it a couple times if you need to because nothing sounds worse than an out of tune 12 string guitar. The other thing I recommend is invest in a good quality tuner. Get a Boss or a Korg or a Peterson tuner. Get something that you know is gonna be accurate. Uh, this has an onboard tuner here and I tuned up to it and it wasn't even close. So make sure you do yourself a favor and get yourself a good tuner. You can also use a couple apps. There's some really good apps. I use Guitar Tuna. I believe that you need to get the paid version in order to tune up a 12 string guitar, but it's only a few dollars and it's definitely worth it. So the next thing I have is a trick that a lot of 12 string guitar players use and that is tuning the guitar down either a half step or a whole step. Now by doing this, you alleviate a lot of the tension on the neck, which will probably increase the life of the guitar. It'll also improve the action and it will decrease the tension, which will make the whole thing a lot easier to play. So I've actually got my other 12 string guitar. So here's my other 12 string guitar. And what I've done is I've tuned this down a whole step and I put the capo on the second fret to get it back to pitch. Now most people either tune the guitar down a half step and put the capo on the first fret or they'll tune down a whole step and put the capo on the second fret. So that's what I've done. Again, I'm tuned to D and I've got the capo on the second fret. And I'll just play a few notes so you can see that it doesn't sound any different than an open guitar. Now the next thing I have is pick selection. I just watched a video where the guy in the video said that you absolutely should use a heavy pick. I really think that you should experiment with different picks. When I play a 12 string, I always use a thin pick. For me, it's a lot easier to get even articulation of the string sets with a thin pick. And again, everybody's a little different. Everybody picks differently. So experiment with different types of picks and see what works best for you. But you want to get a pick where you're going to be able to hit both strings simultaneously consistently. That's really important because there's no reason to have a 12 string guitar if you're only going to pluck out one of the two strings on the string sets. Okay, so the first playing tip I have for you is pretty obvious. Open chords sound better than bar chords. So if I go from D to A and C to G, I do the same thing with a bar chord. You see how it loses its magic. Also, suspended chords sound fantastic on a 12 string. So,
Also, moving your open position chords up the neck, you can get some pretty cool things going on there too. Moving that E around, or moving that F position around. Okay, next is using pedal tones. What a pedal tone is, it's a constant note that's playing over and over against another series of notes. Uh, the best way to show that, to demonstrate that, is to have an open note ringing while I'm fretting uh, other chords on the guitar. So in this case, I'm gonna actually have the fourth and the first string. I'm gonna continue to play those notes as I move around. So probably the single most important piece of advice I can give you on how to maximize using a 12 string guitar is to arpeggiate your chords. An arpeggio is playing the notes of the chord one at a time. So again, rather than playing a C chord, I'm gonna pick C, E, G. So I'll demonstrate this by doing a chord progression by strumming and then by picking single notes or arpeggiating the chords. Okay, next is using a capo. Now, capos sound amazing on 12 string guitars, especially when you move them a little further up the neck. So I'm gonna put a capo on here. And one thing I do wanna mention as well is get a 12 string capo. They're a little different than six string capos. Uh, the clamp arm is a little bit longer because 12 string guitars tend to have a little bit of a wider neck. And there's also more padding on here. And that's really the more important thing. That way you don't get any choked out notes. Um, whenever I use a six string capo on a 12 string guitar, I always get a couple notes that are choked out. So definitely invest in a good 12 string capo. Sounds good with the capo on the fifth fret and it sounds even better as you go higher up. Okay, the last couple of tips I have for you involve the maintenance of the guitar. One is when you restring the guitar, I highly recommend that you restring it one string set at a time, either one string or one string set at a time. There's a lot of tension on this neck with 12 strings and you definitely are putting a lot of extra unneeded pressure by ripping all the strings off and putting new strings on. So I always take two off at a time and restring it like that. Uh, one little other thing is you want to be careful with that high G string. It's usually a really thin, light string, and they have a tendency to pop real easily. So pay careful attention when you're doing that. Make sure that you stretch it and that you're real careful with it. So the last thing I have is definitely get your guitar set up by a professional and do it regularly. By spending that 50 or 60 bucks to get it set up properly by a professional, you will be saving a lot of time and a lot of aggravation. Um, these things, again, are very quirky and very temperamental, and they don't hold up for a long period of time if you don't take care of them. Okay, that's all I've got. I'm sure you guys have a bunch of great comments and tips, so I really want to hear them. Please leave them in the comment section below. I've learned much more from you guys than you will ever learn from me, and that's really the best part of doing this. So once again, if you haven't subscribed yet, please take a moment and subscribe. I really do appreciate it, and I will see you in the next video. Everybody be safe.